a lot of people have this tendency to fall out of love with work that they're doing after a period of time. What's your relationship with that kind of concept? Well, um, I have always been in marketing. I was first I was first in purchasing and moved into marketing some years later, and I was involved in the retail sector for many, many years. So part of that was selling products into retail shops so that they could then sell more product. So display systems and that sort of stuff. Yep. But I guess, and I was in that company for 20 odd years. So I was in there a long time and, you know, it rose to a certain level, obviously in the management structure of that company. But what I came to the conclusion over the years of that was that the retail industry, albeit you know, part of the lifeblood of, you know, you know Britain is a nation of shopkeepers, so it was said all those years ago. But, but you know, yeah. I, I, while I agree with that, I think we've gone too far. I think the, the, the commercial society we've developed and built has become ridiculous. And so that's why I fell out of love with it to some extent, because it's just like uh, things are sold that have no real purpose other than, you know, five or 10 minutes of use or something. And it's just the madness of that. So I fell out, very much fell out of love with product marketing, unless it's a very, unless the product is something that has a real value to people. But left-handed and right-handed toothpicks is madness. You know, it, <laughs> do they exist? You know, it, it, do they really know. exist? It's, it's, one of, it's one of my jokes, but, you know, it's, oh, like, okay. it's, that whole, like, it's that whole idea that you could actually make a toothpick that was left or right-handed and sell it. And or I think tooth, or probably, a toothbrush, for example. I think you probably could if you marketed it right. You could yeah. probably build enough of a case to say this toothbrush is designed for a left-handed person. Yeah. And, and I think that's just madness. And I think there are so much madness around that in terms of things that we produce. So, so yes, so I streamlined my business probably 10 years ago so that I only kind of, I only work with people that have a value to bring to, you know, a contribution to bring to, to mankind and humanity mm. because some of the stuff we do is just madness. The truth. <laughs> it's mm. the truth. Yeah. 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 That's it really. So I, I, mean, I can say more about that, but it's like, I mean, you know, all right, here's an example of the madness that we do. And, and I know it's, it's, it's hard to, but you know, we have a whole diamond industry that spends millions of pounds with very sophisticated equipment to extract diamonds from the, from the sea or from wherever. And you think of the energy resources that go into that. And all that happens at the end, it's put on someone's neck or on someone's, on someone's finger or ring. And it's like, mm. why? Why would we spend that much resource to do that? Oh, and, and there are probably loads of industries that are very similar. Yep, yep. And why do the bears have large warehouses full of diamonds that they don't sell to anybody anyway? Well, yeah, yes, of course. A lot of them are industrial diamonds, absolutely. Mm. And yes, yeah, they have to maintain control the market of diamonds, don't they? Otherwise, it would become, otherwise, the price would drop. So, diamonds is a classic example of a managed market. Mm. 